In this video, we're looking at ECHA 2020, section 1, question 24. So, we're asked to find the area of the enclosed region between these four lines. y equals half x squared, y equals minus x, x equals 1, and x equals 3. So, to help us visualise this a bit better, let's draw our lines on these axes. So, this is going to be our half x squared. This is going to be our y minus x. This is going to be our x is 1. And this is going to be our x is 3. So the area that we're looking to find is this pink shaded bit here. So to make it easier for us, let's split this up into two sections. So the one above the x-axis, which we're going to call a, and the one below, which is b. So starting off with a, how are we going to find this area? Well, we're going to need to find the area under the curve between x is 1 and x is 3. So this little uh, shape here. And how do we find the area under our curve? Well, we're going to need to integrate. Integrate our expression for our curve, which is our y equals half x squared. So this is going to be our equation we're integrating. So half x squared, integrate between 3 and 1 with respect to x. So have a second and see if you can work out how we're going to integrate this. So firstly, we need to raise the power of x by 1. And then we're going to divide our coefficient by that new power of x. So we're going to get a 6x cubed. And we're doing that between 1 and 3. So now we substitute our 1 and 3 in and take them away from each other. So a sixth times 3 to the power of 3. Take away a sixth times 1 to the power of 3, which is just 1. And we simplify that down to 27 over 6 minus 1 sixth, or 26 over 6. So that's our area for our A. So how about for section B, our bottom half here? So this is what our shape we're trying to find the area of looks like. So what is this shape? It's a trapezium. So we can work out the area of a trapezium. How do we work out the area? What's the equation for that? It's a half, the two parallel sides added together, times the height of the trapezium. And we can work out these values using our lines. So how do we work out the parallel height here? Well, if we know what these two points are, we can work that out. We know this yellow line here is x equals 1, and this red one is y equals x. So where do they intersect? Well, they're going to intersect at minus 1. So this value here is 1, and because this one is going to be the same, but for x equals 3, this is going to be 3. And what about the height? Well, because this is 1 here and this is 3, we know our difference is 2. So here are all our values for our trapezium. We just need to put them into our equation. So a half times 1 plus 3 times 2. We can cancel those uh, half and 2 out just to get 1 plus 3, which is 4. So that's our area of our B section there. So now to find the overall area, we just add them together. 26 over 6 plus 4, or 26 over 6 plus 24 over 6, just to uh, make that into the same fractions. And we get 50 over 6 as our final answer. We can simplify that down more to get to 25 over 3. So our final answer is E.